Welcome to the big island of Hawaii and the Lower East Rift Zone and the area the just devastated and uh, just historic eruption that took place in 2018 here out near Fisher 8. So this cone out here is Fisher 8, which was the primary event during that historic eruption. Uh, we're out here on a tour with one of the local uh, residents and this fissure here take a look at this this is Fisher 24. thanks for joining me i'm geology professor sean wilsey out here with the group on the big island of hawaii uh, taking a look at these young and amazing volcanic features from the 2018 eruption and we are here out at the fissures that opened up in leilani estates the neighborhood in the lower east rift zone where so many homes were lost and many lives were changed permanently um, but now it's uh, just a, a fascinating geologic environment to look at these cones and fresh volcanic features. So let's go take a look at these. So here is the vent for Fisher 24. And you can see just how far, well, you can't see how far that goes down, but it goes down quite a ways. There's still a lot of steam coming out of it, heat, um, mineralization taking place along the walls of the vent. You can see some sulfur over there. White stuff is probably gypsum along with iron oxide. We can see the, the layers of lava that wrapped up around this. And then we pan over here, we see this wall of lava spatter or what we sometimes call agglutinate. The lava that just was propelled out of the vent, <coughs> hit the walls um, or accumulated on the ground, formed these, these walls of lava. We sometimes call these spatter ramparts if they're kind of long and, and linear or spatter cones and then forming this material here called agglutinate. Just fascinating to look at this fresh raw landscape. If we look here on the ground we can pick up pieces of this brown frothy material. Um, I don't know how well you can see this but it's kind of this golden colored material with all these little holes in it. It's incredibly lightweight um, and these are just pieces of foamy lava, just gas-rich pieces of lava that were thrown out of the vent. This is known as reticulite. So it's still basalt, uh, but when it's in this form, it's known as reticulite. And this material just sits all over the ground, probably even lighter than pumice in terms of its, its absolute weight. Um, but this stuff's just all over the ground in different places. So again, this big ridge of spatter um, that was built up around the eruptive fissure and coming down to this secondary vent over here we can see some of the the sulfur deposits on the walls and kind of staining the walls there of the vent here we have some of the Pele's hair that you find from this eruption at Fisher 8. And this is all found just on the ground with all this reticulite, uh, this real frothy stuff. You can see places where you just dig down a little bit and then you start seeing the little filaments, the little uh, strands of Pele's hair. So again, this just speaks to um, the explosive nature of the eruption, all the foam and frothy clots of lava, gas-rich pieces of lava that were thrown in the air. And then because we're on the, uh, on the east side of the, or excuse me, the west side of the cone, it fell preferentially on this side, just carried by the trade winds. Some places where you can see some of the cracks and fractures through this, you can actually see here that there's actually more solidified lava. So that's this um, reticulite, the foamy pyroclastic tephra is sitting on uh, solid lava that came out a little bit earlier. And it's pretty amazing to see how quickly the revegetation is taking place. In these little nooks and crannies, we see some of these ferns and other plants starting to take root, the lichen, have been reestablished. So even though this eruption is fairly recent, we see a lot of this material, or a lot of the, the vegetation coming back pretty quickly. So it looks like we're gonna hike up 
Fisher 8. Maybe stop at these vents over here first. So here we are at the top of Fisher 8, looking down into the crater and the vent, the lava river that poured out of this all the way down to the coast. Go over here a little bit further, you can see how red and oxidized it is in places. You still feel quite a bit of heat coming out of this, but this was the vent. This was an incredible historic eruption, and this was the primary vent once the pathway for the magma had been well established. After all the little vents opened up, this became the main fissure, and the lava would have been fountaining here. Uh, drifting behind me here downwind and then traveling out through this channel here out to the sea. You can see the little kind of island, the Kipuka, a little bit of forest and a couple homes that were spared there from the eruption. The lava flowing around it. And then just look around the landscape here at Leilani, Leilani Estates. Here's these small cones on the flank down towards Fisher 24. Just incredible, just the, the power of this event and what it did to this landscape here. Looking to the north here, at the channel and the flow that came out this side of the crater and lapped up around. You can see the transition from the lava flows out here into more of the cinders and the pyroclastic material here on the north side. Nice view here of these spatter cone vents that are still degassing and steaming that lead down towards Fisher 24 there, the edge of the forest off to the west. Thanks for joining me on this little excursion up the Fisher 8 uh, cone from the historic 2018 eruption here of Kilauea's Lower East Rift Zone. Uh, just a great reminder of nature's power, uh, the beauty, of volcanic processes and the way it can just dramatically alter and change a landscape literally within just a few days.